Hi, I'm Aiman, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the front suspension, or rather the front strut uh, and spring, uh, the passenger side, of a Honda Civic 2006-2011. Now, I've said a lot of the main comments about the circumstances on my uh, main video about the driver's side in the other video, so go check that out if you have time. But basically, um, we need to replace our front strut. There's the wires run out. The ride's really bumpy. You know, we just gotta replace the front strut. So we're just gonna get right to it. I've already covered most of the basics in the other video, but right now we already jacked the car up, uh, put jack stand, taken the tire out, and I guess I might, I might as well just show you what exactly we're gonna do. Down here, there are two bolts that two big bolts that we have to take out. They're uh, 19 millimeter, if I recall correctly, or 17 millimeter. And we're gonna use a, we're gonna, on one side we're gonna use a, a wrench to hold it in place while we screw it out on the other side using a, first a, um, a breaker bar and then we're gonna use our Milwaukee. After that we're going, no before that actually, we're going to take out this um, ABS line using pliers to squeeze that out. And then we're gonna take out this uh, small bolt that's holding in the brake line. So before or after that, we're going to focus our attention on three bolts up here. So in order to access three bolts, we first uh, take off this rubber cover, or this lining. We're going to put that off to the side, it doesn't really matter where it goes. We're going to pry off this uh, rectangular piece that you can see has a, sort of an outline that indicates that you can pull it off. There it goes. Put that somewhere safe. Actually, not there yet. I'll, sh I'll tell you why in a moment. Now we can actually see the three bolts. One, uh, no, actually nuts. One, two, three. So that uh, that bolt in the back, that nut in the back, is actually a bit hard to access. So in order to access that, we're going to... Actually, I don't think we need to remove the windshield wiper for this one, but we're going to take off this, um, this cover right here. And in order to do that, we just need to pry it off with a flathead screwdriver. So, just to recap, uh, two bolts on the bottom, two big ones and one small bolt and then one fastener with a plier and then three nuts on the top so we're just gonna record me trying to do it because I already did it on the left side that was an ordeal but hopefully this one should be better all right so I think I got my assortment of tools ready um, hopefully this is gonna be all we need but just in case I have a whole counter of tools on it over there uh, we don't need to show that but right now I'm gonna use our PV blaster to make our job a bit easier just a bit of spritz on here Right. So what we're going to do is first we're going to uh, loosen this brake line bolt and remove this fastener right here. I mean, we probably should have used a few blaster after, but that's alright. So I think the brake line bolt is a number 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Milwaukee, or rather my Milwaukee, and we're going to loosen it. And it might require a bit of elbow grease to loosen it at first. But then it comes off. Then we're going to use a plier to get this, um, not clamp, fastener out. So all we have to do is squeeze the end of it and then push it forward. So you can see, just to re reiterate, we just have to clamp this down and then just uh, pull it out of its socket. Next step is to loosen these two nuts. Now, we're gonna take out the bottom nut and bolt, but we're not gonna take out the top bolt. So let me show you what I was talking about earlier about holding it in with a wrench. Now, let me make sure this is the right direction for when we're taking it out. Hold on. So if you're trying to remove it. Okay. So, what I was talking about is that you have to make sure that when you're trying to spin this um, Actually, we don't need this yet actually It's only when we're loosening this that we're gonna need this wrench. I'll show you later Right now, we only need the breaker bar Is this the right one? Oh, this is the right one, okay What we're gonna do is we're just going to tight, uh, loosen it <laughs> I do apologize if I'm Righty, tighty, lefty. Okay. 
I do apologize if I'm stepping over myself. It is nighttime and I've noticed that I get quite a bit uh, disorganized when it's nighttime, but hopefully it's not bad. Righty tidy, lefty loosey means go down. Okay. So we're doing this to make sure that it's loose enough so that we can take it out from Milwaukee. This can be sped up actually. Alright, so now we're going to do the bottom and it might be a bit tricky to get to. And if that doesn't work, we might have to use a long one, but I think it shouldn't be a problem. Really don't want to dent the uh, car. I'm going to play it safe and use a long one. Alright, so I remember last time uh, we used an extension bar and my dad actually reminded me. So that's just one thing I forgot during the night. But now that we have the extension bar, we can actually get it in between and we should be able to loosen it. Okay, so now it's loose enough to use the Milwaukee on. And now I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about earlier. What we're going to do is we're going to have this wrench hold the bolt in place while we unscrew the nut from around it. Alright, so like I said before, have this wrench in place while we unscrew the nut from around it. So, this is a number 19 if I recall correctly. Just fit that around. Oh, and you saw that the this was also spinning around, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip that around. And there's the nut. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the bottom. Let's get that in position. I'm going to try to control my speed on this this time. Looks like we have to tighten, to loosen it just a little bit. There we go. So now that we have these ones out, um, right now we, we're going to keep the top bolt in place, but we could take the bottom bolt out. I think, yeah, we're going to take off the bottom bolt. Usually we can use gri uh, grippers, but I think we're going to use a hammer to make it faster all right we're gonna use an extension uh, my dad suggested it it's much more uh, smarter that way you can just focus it on that one point and once it goes through that tunnel you're able to even hammer it further all right that's what the nut looks the bolt looks like and now we're gonna move on to the top section we're gonna need a number 14 and I'm gonna bring the extension with me so I'm also going to need to take out that uh, panel. I have my trusty flathead screwdriver right here and what we're going to do is I'm going to just wedge it right in between in that little hole right there and then just take it out. There we go. I'm going to put that somewhere safe and you can see that there's an access to that last bolt. Now I'm going to take my uh, Milwaukee, and I'm actually gonna do the one in the back first. So it seems like it would be easiest. I'm gonna take my extension. Oops. I'm not sure if this is gonna help actually. I'm gonna take my extension, put it on, spinning the right way, insert it in, and make sure I'm on it. Okay. There we go. So as you can tell right now, it's not moving around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen it with a regular wrench. All right, so again, my dad suggested it to me with all of his wisdom and experience that I actually do the Milwaukee from uh, this side, which I have much more clearance to uh, actually do it by hand, to loosen it by hand. And if I remember correctly, it's it doesn't matter because the ratchet is for me, but righty tell you lefty loosey. And it's loose enough so that we can use the Milwaukee.
So if you take a very close look, that the nut comes off. We gotta make sure that I don't lose that. We have a telescoping grip, but I think I can just get my hands in there. I'm gonna put that somewhere safe. Now we're gonna move on to the other two. Now these ones don't require an extension. They only require the regular socket. It might be a bit tricky to get to in the long, in the first one. But first we have to loosen it. All right, so because we need to loosen these first, we're gonna use a flexible uh, ratchet wrench right here just to tighten it first. I mean, loosen it first. I'm not leaning on it with all my body weight because I really don't want to break the car or dent it. And we're also going to loosen this one while we're at it to make it a bit easier for us. All right. So now that's like this, it should be easier to loosen it. And we're just going to use the Milwaukee to make this go just a little bit faster. Another nut out. I'm gonna put that somewhere safe. And then take this one out. All right. The final nut is up. All right. So we come to the climax of this. We're going to take. We're gonna knock out this final bolt using the extension with the hammer. And while this extension is still in that tunnel right there, we're going to take it out and slowly finagle this out. And keep in mind, like last video, this is also going to be heavy. So... We ended up unscrewing it using a Milwaukee while this uh, extension pushed it out. So now we're going to try taking this extension out and removing this. Now my dad told me that when you're removing this and you're trying to wiggle this um, assembly f towards you, that you don't want it to go out too much because it might uh, exit the um, transmission. Now. Remembering last time, this was a, a bit of a problem, but we're going to try it. Let's do it. Alright, so my dad actually ended up wiggling it out for me, but once it's out, I'm going to sort of angle it outward and it's going to be a bit tricky because this uh, is in the way. And then we're going to compare it to the new part. Now comparing the new part and the old part, um, they look pretty similar just as the driver's side did. Um, on the new part, wait, it's actually an aftermarket part. On the new part, it says uh, front right, which is the passenger side. And I think on the driver's side, it says FL, front left. So that's a good indicator. Uh, it also has a arrow indicating which side is the front. So I guess that also helps if you need to know where it goes. And I guess let's not dilly-dally. Let's just put this back. So now we're in the replacement part of this uh, whole process. And replacement is the same as installation, just in reverse.